Hey everyone, welcome back to the mod of redemption. I heard a chicken, but there's also this thing here, sleeping stones. Interesting. So I was just doing some off-camera work setting up my house. Uh, I want to set the chicken on fire. Boom. Bam. Fried chicken. Beautiful. Yeah, I was working on some stuff. You know, I was made, made a hell hole. Look at this. Nice little hell hole. Move my home over here. Got the Eye Cthulhu drop and the thorn drop. Let's say hello to sleeping stone. Hello. Hello. Wake up, Mr. Stone. Nothing bad will happen when I wake him up, right? Of course not. Why would anything bad happen waking up a golem? And, oh, and, oh, Eagle Crest Golem. Look at that. This is the mini boss we've been looking for. I can't really say we've been looking for it. It's only been available for like one episode. But look, it's a mini boss. Oh, it turns into a stone. Very cool, very cool. I like to see that. I don't know what weapon we should use. Let's use the thorn bag. Oh, okay. I like this one. I didn't really get to use it after I got it. Let's use it now. And I've seen the Eye of Cthulhu one before in uh, the short series I did with this mod in the past. So I remember this one. Uh, keep in mind, when I did farm for this, I had to kill around 10 Eye of Cthulhu's. Very nice. But yeah, let's kill this golem. Don't kill the chi they kill the chicken. I need the damn fried chicken. I'm trying to do that quest that requires the fried chicken. Hopefully I don't die. This dude's kind of tanky, like no lie. Like, he's actually tanky. Hopefully we can finish him off here. I'm gonna just use my staff. Hold up, actually, let's clear out all the enemies first. And then we will use the staff. He keeps hitting me. He keeps hitting me. Alright, switching to the staff. Is it because I can't really fly that high? Yeah, that might be a problem that I have a little trouble flying. Okay, he hit me right there, but it did not feel like he did. Let's jump super high every time. And then I'm going to just run in a straight line. What's he going to do? Is he going to catch me? Oh, damn, he's pretty fast. He almost caught me. That was scary there. Got him. Awesome. Cool mini boss. That, that actually felt a little tough. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, what did he drop? Ancient stone. Ancient pebble. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Eye of the Eagle Crest Golem, Ancient Slingshot. What was this slingshot used to shoot? A uh, stone or something? I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't even require anything. All right, what else do we got? We got Eye of the Eagle Crest Golem, which makes an ancient sigil, summons the empowered Eagle Crest Golem. Okay, I, we can fight it again, but stronger. Let's see the ancient pebble in action. Wow, what a, what a summon, a pebble. I ain't being assaulted by bosses today. Okay, maybe I, I assaulted the last boss first, but this guy assaulted me first. So let's get to it. I'm missing a lot of health. I just noticed that. Okay, we, we got a small area to fight in. Let's be careful here. This is actually working really well. Just spamming that. Oh, I'm out of mana. I'm out of mana. Switch to the pixies. There we go. You're soulless. That's fucked up. I, I didn't say that to him. All right, what did he drop? He dropped a lot of goodies here. A lot of big souls. Nice to see. Dark fragments. Awesome. Skull digger, skull digger. Okay, cool. It goes through walls. Oh, no, I guess not. Uh, we have the skull digger mask. Awesome. And then we have the abandoned teddy bear. Now, the abandoned teddy bear is actually pretty cool. It does something really cool against the keeper. Uh, we'll show that off, I guess, this episode since there isn't probably too much that we can do in this episode since we, all we have to do is fight skeletron and then the mini bosses and uh you know the mini bosses they aren't all listed on here but there's a lot of them so that's really what this episode is gonna be because next episode i believe we're gonna take on the wall of flesh just straight up maybe the infected eye in the same episode we'll see we'll see all right so while we wait for the next night time because we are gonna fight skeletron the next night time let us do some of the wayfarers quests because the wayfarer has a couple of quests oh there's a goblin army nice we got the bucket of chicken finally i don't know why it took me so long to get my hands on that probably because chickens just don't want to spawn when i need them to but yeah let's talk to the wayfarer what's up my boy zephos cycle options hold up quest there you go i got you your little your little chicken heck yeah chicken thank you bro here's something for you it's a good bag of random stuff i found on my adventures oh you want some chicken too i'll give you a piece thank you for the chicken i'll eat it right now delicious all right hold on let me kill this stuff as you can see i got a, i got a couple weapon upgrades in my inventory i made a quick visit to hell and uh, as you can see we got some got some power we got some power because obviously we're gonna need some power for uh skeletron so hopefully this is enough i guess we'll see when we fight skeletron all right now that that's over let's see what's in the uh, reward bag here Whoa, what do we got rare fragment a demon face looks like an uncertain dead can repair this if you have both pieces okay i got both pieces what can you repair them into go ahead repair this for me you don't seem to have any fragments in your possession okay they're not for the same weapon all good what's the next quest 
All right, so I asked this traveling merchant if I could do any quest for some coin because he looked rich. And he was like, you can find me a relic known as a skull of bloodstone. Apparently, it's some enchanted skull with ruby eyes and he'd give me a general reward if I found it. So since I got no idea where it is, just find me a skull and put two rubies in its eyes that could fool him and I get lots of money. Easy. I should have a skull, I think. I'm pretty sure I do have a skull. I think that's definitely one of the things I picked up in this playthrough. All right, let me uh, put some stuff away. Not all this stuff. Let's see if I can just make it oh okay i don't have a skull i really don't have a skull how the hell do you get a skull oh my okay this might be actually kind of hard then because it's like i don't have a skull <laughs> I swear I had a skull. Maybe it's the spirit mod playthrough I'm thinking of. All right, since I thought I had a skull, but I don't own one, we're gonna have to get one somewhere. Oh, I need to kill that enemy. Hold up. <laughs> the enemy drops a good staff that people's been telling me about. Hey, get over here. You're trying to run. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Elegant marble stave. Uh, right clicking with summon a marble king. Defense enhance. Hold up. Oh, it fucking desummoned and it was a large soul. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, look at this chest piece whoa <laughs> all right but back to what i was doing here got two statues i found some wires set up this is gonna be how we get a skull we already got an ancient golden helmet like look at that amazing good job but yeah i guess i'll do this for a little bit while i wait for night time to come and like 30 seconds later we already have a skull beautiful i'm a genius i know something that could have took in an eternity took only like a minute and it's still daytime that's the best thing all right sweet and i did also end up getting another marble stave billy marrow is a skeleton merchant i don't remember what mod makes him move in but welcome all right so let's see here let's just throw a bunch of stuff in here that might be useful at some point i don't know everything else i'll probably sell i don't know are these used for anything in particular no all right that's fine then we'll sell those but yeah ruby skull let's do it bam thank god that that was nice and quick boom let's sell all this stuff though make a couple of a couple extra bucks here i guess i could get rid of this too this flint and steel i don't really need it and let's talk to the man what's up zephos here's your ruby that looks like an enchanted skull to me thanks i got something for you too i'm giving you a reward yeah yeah yeah. uh what did he give me this time more rare fragments okay cool we'll hold on to those what's the next quest you want some food ultimate dish um the bucket of chicken was great could you give me another one wait no that's not enough how about oh how about this make me something big like the ultimate dish cooked shrimp sashimi pho and pad thai all combined into one okay that's that's doable uh the only problem is i have not had the traveling merchant come once i don't know if i'm missing like one of the required things or what but the dude has not shown up a single time so something is happening i don't know what is happening but something is happening i, I really have not seen him once but nighttime is getting closer beautiful i don't know if you noticed but my accessories have been upgraded and they're pretty damn good uh somebody told me like if you're not rocking a full spirit class you know aka this spirit level plus two then you might as well not use it at all and that does make sense i also think that the spirit weapons currently aren't exactly the greatest so i don't really feel like rocking them right now but yeah let's get ready to fight skeletron let's get it night time is here boom of course we got to get hit a couple of times it's only right all right let's get to it though don't know how hard this is gonna be if it's gonna be hard at all uh i guess we'll just go for whatever it doesn't matter if we go for his hands or not or what just go for something just kill him so with this uh ice stab we have here the haunted ice one this one homes which is really nice so we'll probably use that for a majority of this fight when we're out of mana but if we're not out of mana you already know we're going to our go-to's of course make it rain make it hot in here i don't know what the hell fire blossoms do make it hot in here that's what i'm assuming they do is make it hot and then rinse and repeat also you know right clicking our staves every now and then we got a lot of mana to spare here so you know we might as well go all out with it uh hopefully i'm actually landing hits here i feel like i'm barely landing hits on them so maybe we got to change it up a little bit here this is what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna right click and use that because uh that gives us more defense i believe so might as well use the right click of that staff we also got a chest piece on our head come on that's cool as hell okay it's not that cool i don't look that cool don't make fun of me though i don't look that stupid either okay i look kind of stupid but don't make fun of me because that would be rude right so i don't know what we're using here i guess we use this because this homes in a little bit better it's a little bit faster too than the uh fire blossoms it does less damage 
But look at that. If we get like the right movements, we get Skeletron hit by everything. And then we switch back to the homing stave, of course. But other than that, you know, it's, it pretty much feels like a mage Skeletron boss fight here. Nothing too crazy. I do appreciate the Druid class, though, how there is like pretty much already subclasses. You know, we got the staves, we got the seed bags, we got the spirit stuff. And then like plus that, there's a bunch of other just like miscellaneous weapons scattered throughout that you can use, which makes the class very diverse makes every playthrough of it different if you were to do multiple playthroughs of it but there you go skeletron defeated did not expect to have a problem there i'm gonna just leave all my lanterns and stuff here but yeah this opens up the next point of progression in terms of armor because there's gonna be a couple special enemies that spawn down here in the dungeon and they are gonna drop the materials for armor which is very nice and uh, also there is a Dave, we're supposed to get down here, and I believe it is, it's got a weird name. It's like the, the Don John or something like that. John in it. It might be a drop. So let's pull up this here because I want to see the name of it. There you go. Yeah, the Don John or the Dungeon Stave. So that's what we're keeping an eye out for because, you know, we want that because that makes the Knight's Edge, I think it's called Crescent. Yeah, the Lunar Crescent. We want to make this, and then after we make that, uh, we can make boom pleasure w that's what i'm gonna call it i'm gonna just call it pleasure because this thing is a stave that everyone's been telling me to get but yeah i'm gonna go through the dungeon here if anything interesting happens i'll hit record i guess probably nothing too interesting probably just new items is what i'll show off but i can show that off when we get home honestly all right so i explored a decent bit of the dungeon here not too much though probably could have did a little bit more but here's the important things i came out with there's a couple of special druid type enemies that spawn down there uh, i believe one is a druid skeleton and the other one is like a gardener a skeleton gardener and we got this gloom shroom bag uh those capsules that go spore releasing gloom shrooms cool very cool uh we got the donjon stave uh right clicking with some of a skeletal guardian let's see well let's see the left click first okay and then the right click oh very cool obviously we got this warhammer we got like right at the beginning we got this druid hat gives us 15 percent increased druidic damage very cool is it an accessory at all no i was gonna see if i could like wear it here and it would help or anything but i do actually have to wear it does it affect the set bonus yes it does okay all right and then we got gloom mushrooms used to craft gloom druid equipment bone right there it says it all so we need druidic altar we need some bones we need some gloom mushrooms perfect kind of weird how they added in a whole new material just for an armor set that's it nothing else okay that's that's fine no question i won't question it let me go ahead and craft it if i can i should have enough boom there's the helmet boom the chest plate boom the leggings all right let's see so i'm gonna put this on our defense should go way up yep plus five it's not way up but it's better and the damage should go up okay it went up one so boom what's the set bonus increased night vision that's very nice and immunity to knockback that's an interesting set bonus I'm not, i actually don't know about that set bonus uh but we do get a lot of goodies here max mana max life more damage to seed bags faster some better regen like it's a pretty good armor set which is very nice but yeah i guess either i'm gonna end this episode off here or i'm gonna work on the quests off camera see if i can get further along in the quests i don't know i have no idea honestly all right boom crafting this hey get away from me bro i'm crafting this how does this even work i don't know let's go to the surface it'll probably be easier to show off i got lunar crescent stave triple shot nightshades embrace so was it just a star fury what's the right click do it has to do something cool a lunar statuette's protecting you whoa multiple stars all right now that we saw that we want to craft it into something crazy oh wait i need a lot of vines i don't know if i have enough for this you get the idea though you get the idea all right here i am i promised i would fight the keeper with the teddy bear in our hands let's see it in action what's up oh her mask fell off look at that the keeper has noticed the abandoned teddy bear you're holding she starts to remember something pain anger sadness do you guys hear that lawnmower outside it's literally every time i record there's a lawnmower outside all the oh, all those feelings were washed away she only feels at peace the keeper spirits fade away you've redeemed yourself octavia may rest in undisturbed peace hmm strange something feels off i'm sure it's nothing the keeper's no longer after you okay cool 
I like that there's an alternative to that fight. Uh, we got this. Keeper circulate. Equipable. Most skeletons become friendly. Very cool. Nice for farming souls, I would assume. And then we got the trophy, which I'm pretty sure we already got the trophy the first time we fought it. But that's cool that there's an alternate little ending to that. All right. I'm off to the jungle to kill a bunch of vine monsters. All right. Let us make the pleasure here. I think I have enough. We should. Boom. Pleasure. Perfect. Blessed pleasure 25 percent damage nice that's a pretty good damage boost all right so if you look for a pleasure that can be tolerated the end reaches the loss of self what the hell does that mean attack afflicts enjoyment decreasing life of those hit until death let me see it in action here oh okay i like this a little aoe around you very cool uh we gotta wait a couple seconds here because i always accidentally right click when i hold staves or staves boom boom is there not a right click there's not a right click it's not a stave what the heck okay that's i didn't know that all right but there you go i think this should end off this episode i think next episode is wall of flesh time we have to finish off all the uh, mini bosses and stuff all the quests that we can for uh the wayfarer or zephos whatever the hell you want to call this dude over here and then we should be ready for hard mode and everything else i don't know we'll see what happens next episode but yeah i'll see y'all next time